Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing another products I've used up video. This time it's not as many products, but I feel like I could do a little mini review for each product if I just have less at a time. So I have my bag of products here and I am just going to... So the first thing I have is this leaves candle from Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. So you can tell how long I've been saving up these products since this is from fall. The description of this candle is a fragrance that embodies the richness of fall with all of its colors and pleasures featuring notes of golden nectar, ripe delicious apple, and red berries. So I love this candle. The next thing I have is my Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I absolutely love this um, deep repair mask. This is my second tub of this and it's so good. Um, it really conditions your hair. It's good for really dry and also color treated hair. Um, I did not repurchase this yet, but I will. Um, I want to try the It's a 10 mask too, so I love this mask and I will always keep repurchasing. Repurchasing. <laughs> so I love this mask and I will always keep repurchasing it. The next thing I have is my Yes to Tomatoes makeup wipes. I love these and they're pretty inexpensive. You can find it at any drugstore and I just love these for taking off my makeup. Honestly, on nights when I'm just so tired and I just don't want to wash my face, I can get away with just using one of these and I won't break out or anything like that. The next thing I have is my Maybelline Dream Touch Lumi Highlighting Concealer and I love this concealer. I have not repurchased it yet just because I have tried the NYX HD photo whatever concealer and then I have also been using the Benefit Fake Up concealer but I love this concealer it's real a really good drugstore concealer and it's good for highlighting. The next thing I have is this um, sample of a Chi shampoo from the hair show in Chicago that I went to. Um, this one is for hydration. I only used it once since this is such a small bottle, so I can't really give a really good review on it because I only used it once, but for the time I used it, it made my hair smell really good and soft, so, yeah. Okay, and then I have my EOS lip balm. It's kind of dirty, but, um, this is, oh, it smells really good. This is the Lemon Drop one, and I love these EOS lip balms just because they're easy to find and I can just throw it in my makeup drawer, and they really moisturize your lips. This next thing I didn't even use up yet. Um, this is also another sample. This is the Bulgari, which scent is this? Jasmine Nior. I don't know. But it is just like the fragrance, and this perfume was so bad. Yeah, it's, I just can't even, I sprayed it on me and I had to change my clothes because I just did not like this scent at all. The next thing I used up is this little mini of the Ulta Clarifying um, Cleanser Mask. And I really did like this. At first, I didn't really notice a difference, but after a few days of using this, um, this really helped clear my skin and it prevented future breakouts too, so I really did like this. The next thing I used up is another sample from Living Proof and it's just like the little travel size um, hairspray, the full root lifting hairspray and I really like this hairspray. Yeah, all gone. Oh, I got another spray out of it. I really do like this hairspray, it's good for root lifting and it smells amazing so I really like these Living Proof little travel hairsprays. The next thing I used up was this Benefit Fake Up Concealer. This came in, um, if you bought a kit with the Professional, I believe, and then also came with this Fake Up Concealer. Um, it's just like a little mini one, and you can see that I used it all up. Um, I love this concealer. Right here, I bought the full size, and this is really good. Here, I'll show you the full size one just because this is all used up so you can't even see it. Oh, this is what it looks like. Really pretty packaging. And then it kind of comes in like a lipstick tube like this. And you just um, screw it up like that. And then you can see how like the concealer is in the middle. And then the outside has like that clear ring around it. And that like, that outside really hydrates your skin. So um, it's not supposed to crease underneath your eyes. The last thing I have in here is another sample that I got. And it is the Philosophy Miracle Worker Foundation. It came in a little package like this and I actually, just this little circle right here, I got like 
three to four uses out of it so that's really nice in a sample and I really did like this it was kind of lightweight um, not a full coverage foundation probably like light to medium and it was really buildable so I really did like this foundation so I don't know I might repurchase it I don't know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I know a lot of the things that I finish up were samples but if you know me then you know that I don't really finish samples that much if I ever get a sample of something I kind of just forget about it um, and these were the ones that I actually really liked aside from the perfume so as always I will continue to put all my products that I've used up in a bag and share it with you guys so I will talk to you guys later bye Let's go off when I enter the building.